bonus with face, pat, and tiz. This week, face to screen. Um, we're talking about the top 10, top 10, top 10 best Christmas movies. Oh, shit, we got top 10 of them. Things. Where's my Christmas hat? Okay, my movie got Just to on specify, here. just to specify what a Christmas movie is. A Christmas movie does not have to be strictly just a holiday movie. A Christmas movie has to be a movie where the setting is Christmas time. That's a Christmas movie. Okay. So, number one, Die Hard. Best yeah, Christmas okay. movie I've seen. So okay. Yes. Die Hard. Yes, motherfucker. Yes. Die Hard is Die a Christmas. Yes. Y'all heard that. That's Die solid. Hard. I rock with that. I rock with that. Now, First number two, I'm going to bring it back to something it. classical. Hmm? I'm going to bring it back classical real quick for you. Number two, Home Alone. Wait a minute, okay. Man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. think about that one as a Christmas movie, but I'm rolling with you. Yeah, it's a no. Christmas movie yeah. and a lesson in self defense. Yeah, you beat the shit mm -hmm. out of them. Now, <laughs> now we're going to rock your world real quick. We're going to rock your world. Bad Santa at number three. Oh, oh my Bad God. That don't rock my world at all. I love that movie. I think that yo, movie is fucking hilarious. That movie is I hilarious. Think that movie is hilarious, yo. That little boy with that fucking advent calendar, yo. Oh my fucking god! Let me, <laughs> he had let, let me tell you. Yo. Let me tell you. All you right, chocolate. Can I make you a sandwich? It's a Christmas movie. It's not a family movie. But you want to know what you want to know? What my stepdad did with the whole family, <laughs> with my my devout Christian mother and <laughs> and my little brother and sister. Well, you know, they're not little. They, you know, younger brother and sister. And, and me, play Bad Santa. And you know what scene was going on? They ain't no fucking one. her in the ass. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a hell of an initiation to that shit, huh? <laughs> Check that out. And that was, oh, that was the first time I seen it. <laughs> He's really I was like, oh. Man. Yo, man, this is hilarious, but... You I can't outside. really express how much I'm I'm laughing inside. <laughs> well, no, before I'm gonna take it back classical for you, I'm gonna go a little cartoony. I'm not talking about the remake with Jim Carrey. Let's tell the classical Grinch who stole Christmas. Mm. Okay, now that's solid. Now that's mm. super solid. The real Dr. Okay. Seuss one. I don't now, care how old go. you are, you can rock with that. Now come on, I'm oh, yeah. you, what you got? Six more of these left? I, I'm, I'm waiting on mine. I need to hear mine. I'm gonna give you. Another, I'm gonna give you another one. This is one of my personal favorites. Come on, a Christmas story. Yes, 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 yes oh, nigga. Oh, oh. Come on, nigga. You came to out, boy. Oh, oh, you didn't let me down this week, oh, face, face. You came through with that one, boy. Oh, Ralphie, oh, Ralphie. Ralphie. You shoot your eye out, yo. When that little boy fell the fuck over, yo. <laughs> yo, and I remember them suits because we used to have a wedding when we was little, yo. I remember them fucking uh, snow suits. Them shits was thick as hell. You be moving like the marshmallow man. <laughs> I remember them shit. Now, oh, my man. Next one. That's, that's my next one. I had to slide this one in there. It's an all black cast majority. But JB Smooth in this Christmas one. So I had to bring almost Christmas to the stage, man. What's that? JB Smooth, um, Monique, Danic Lover, um, Sanai, Lathan, Omar, Epps, Star Study Cast, almost Christmas. I think I've seen that one before. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I've seen like every all black Christmas movie. Now, with this next one, we're going back to the hood with this next one. Let's go Friday after next. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes. I can roll with you there. I yep. can roll with That's you there. Yep. <clears throat> yep, that checks the boxes. I have yep. a boy. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep, that is one of the, that mm -hmm. is one of, I remember the first time I saw that movie. I was riding around, yeah, breaking the 40. And, <laughs> 
And I don't know if you remember, dude, I think his name was David, but he looked older than everybody else, but he was our age. And he, he was like real swollen shit for no reason. From high school? Yeah. Oh yeah, Ross. Yes, I was riding around <laughs> with him and we was listening to a fucking uh, rolling on repeat. Um, that's not. Just drinking forties, and then we just pulled up at the movies and was loud as fuck through that whole movie, sitting on the front row, <laughs> faded. But that shit was so. That movie had me like that movie was a whole a whole vibe. Yeah, good good pick there. Good pick there. Next one, we're going last holiday, starting Queen Latifah and LL Cool J. To me, it was a good oh, movie, fuck man. No. I, no, no, this was a good movie. You lost he won't me. really have start acting. You lost he, me. He was a supporting character, and he won't see the movie that much. It was mostly Queen Latifah's starring role. Um, I think he was in all in the movie all of a good fifteen minutes. So I like the you movie. Me purpose, yeah. uh, you lost me. On this one, um, I like how they did it because instead of focusing on him as a star male character, they just played him off to the side and focused on all Queen Latifah and what she was going through and dealing with in the movie. I like the movie. It, it brings it gives you ups and downs, highs and lows, but it, it ends off with a good, real good twist. Um, so I, I, I dig it. I dig the I'm movie. Turn um, my face from the screen when he come on. I'm good. Is that the one with Con? I don't know. No, Con was not. No, no, it's the one she where was she was thought she was dying and she and she on oh, vacation okay. her own baby and went to that um resort, that ski resort that she always wanted to go to and ball the fuck out and then at the end found that she won't die. Spoiler. Well, it had so <laughs> numbers in that shit. You right now. Next one. I don't know if y'all like it, yeah, but it's an old but a goodie. Um we'll go Bill Murray and Scrooge. Oh uh, that's classic. Oh, Scrooge. His fucking lips, huh? Elbow dropped his fucking head. He's still mad about LL <laughs> <laughs> Now for number 10, <laughs> I couldn't really decide because I got a new age one and I got a true, true, true classic movie. Oh, um, the the new age one, I'm gonna go best man holiday. What is that? Huh. But the true classic I, it's um best man holiday when they it's the second one they all got up together and um the football player wife ended up dying, but they all ratted around him and holidays yeah. like that. Now the last one, this I think this was the very first Christmas movie I ever watched, um just as a kid. It was black and white. Um it's a wonderful life. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yep, I remember I also had to write a paper about that movie. In one of my class. <laughs> I'm gonna just that. keep quiet on that one because uh I've tried to that to watch that movie over 30 times and I've never made it through maybe the first 15 minutes. So I don't know what, what happens. So I don't I can't just Y'all win on that. Well, there's some, some white people in it, and they they going through stuff that white yeah. people go through stuff on yeah. um, Christmas. Well, I can give it to you. I give it to you. Um, basically, the dude was at work. He was talking cash shit, wondering if like basically what would life be without him, and Christmas be without him and his family if he never was around and shit. Um, guardian angel or the Christ, spirit of Christmas or somebody popped up on his ass, and when he was about to leave work and showed him what life is without his ass, and if he would never exist and shit. So it's it like seemed like real movie fucking. when uh, somebody was missing. Uh, something like that. I think I remember that Family Matters episode. Something like that. Okay. Angel. Yeah. Every every they probably every, every, they probably, every sitcom. Every series. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Every series do, do. does the um. Oh. Uh, it's a wonderful life shit. Um. It's a it's a it's a couple <clears> BET <throat> movies that it just did a spinoff of. Not a spinoff, but a, a a redo of that movie just with black characters. Jasmine guy got one of them like. Um, it's a wonderful life type shit. Um, she just, I think hers is more closer to the Scrooge version, but Scrooge and um, it's a wonderful life. They cross paths in some type of way. Um, it's a wonderful life. Ain't it's about three different ghosts. It's got that one person, um, showing them everything. But still good movies, still good movies. But um, like I said, that's faces, faces screen this week, man. Top ten best holiday movies next week. We never know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about some on the screen. I got a random mention for I, you. I got, I got a. Suggestion. Let's go. Topic, but I'll tell you all Let's go. Time. 
right. But uh, my random mention um, is Batman Returns. I was it's, gonna say it's that same Christmas. I, Christmas. Christmas. I, I dig it because mm. big big ass Christmas tree, big Christmas scene, always have all happened in December, snow ice. But I just didn't like Batman Returns. That, that movie just won't hit me. All the sports nigga fucked it up for me, I think. Lost. Oh, that was this Batman. Um no, he talking about the second a Michael Keaton one. The second oh, one. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. yeah, with Danny it, DeVito got England. You. Yeah. Got you, got you. Penguin cat women. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Well, then, yeah, I fuck with that one. So, yeah, put that one in there, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not a traditional mm-hmm. one, but it's... No, you good. My... You good now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Traditional only what is what in your tradition. So, if that's what you watch, God damn it, it's traditional. Shit. Yeah, I can go it's with that. Podcast, that damn it. That's all right with me. Work with that. Die Hard. Die Hard is my shit. That's my number one. Die Hard. Best holiday movie ever. I would never, I would never add the other two Batmans, uh, the Batman Forever and Batman Robin in any list. I'm you won't you won't have to worry about that for me. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't exist. But um uh, a Christmas story is definitely my favorite Christmas movie of all time. I I, I could watch that movie like when they had them marathons on TBS. I used to watch them shits back to back to back to back. Oh, to back to oh, back to back oh. To back to back. I would I would be to memorize the commercial order and everything by like the fifth one. Like it would be bad. So yeah, I love that. The- the one scene I avoid in that movie is when the dude was dumb enough to try to lick a light pole in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 like, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, man, that, it just, it just seemed like uh, I know that hurt so bad. Boy. <laughs> boy. But I wouldn't have done it in the first place, so I would never know. Yep, yeah, me too. <laughs> I learned at an early age from an ice cube that, oh, this shit cold, this stick to you. All right. Uh-huh. Let that warm up a little bit then, boss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Cause and effect always helped me out with, with simple shit like that. Now, I done did some dumb shit, but it won't like, I didn't know it was dumb when I did it. I just was like, oh, fuck it, let me slap. Could, I could go wrong, but what else? Like when I had a dart fight with those uh, darts that you throw into the wall, the little target, and we were throwing them at each other. <laughs> and I watched one fly and that bitch got caught in my chin. <laughs> it was like, oh. <laughs> and it was like weird because I ain't feel it. So I was like looking around like, the fuck did that shit hit? God damn it, because I'm looking forward to throwing it back. And then I kept seeing this little blue thing. And I was like, oh shit, that's the... That's the dart. I was like, oh fuck, mama. Mama. I was like maybe, I was like maybe 11. It was the first year I was over and uh I had just moved to going to the, the middle school where I met face mob and dot head. But yeah, it was uh yeah, that was pretty stupid. But uh I digress. <laughs>